Hello everyone and welcome to how to install RP2000 in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. RP2000 is an alternate tech tree for Realism Overhaul and Real Solar System that is meant to make it easier for people who play stock to get into Realism Overhaul and play career. And it sets you up as a startup in the year 2000 and you play a sort of small space startup and then you can pres presumably do all the things that you can do in stock. That's the goal anyway. Uh, we are going to be using Community Tech Tree, uh, and this is based off of RP0, which was an older version of the career mode uh, for Realism Overhaul, and which used Community Tech Tree. And the benefit to using Community Tech Tree is that a lot of parts are already correctly placed into Community Tech Tree, and so will be functional. The pricing might not be exactly right, but we can work on that. My reason for doing this install video right now is because I'm going to be starting a playthrough where I test it out for KSB 1.12. I originally wanted to balance things out a lot earlier in a previous RP2000 playthrough, but then that was in 1.8.1 and things were changing a lot. And so I decided to wait until now. And since things have stabilized, and of course 1.12 is the final version of KSP 1, uh, I decided that this would be a good time to make sure things work out properly. So uh, the requirements for RP2000 are fairly light. Uh, of course, you need Realism Overhaul itself, Community Tech Tree, Crew Vessels is my own mod, Custom Barn Kit, uh, contract, contract Configurator, Procedural Parts, Procedural Fairings, uh, Small Rockets is my own mod, and Shearstrut Engines is my own mod. And we'll also be uh, installing the recommended mods, B9 Procedural Wings, Tweak Scale, Tack Light Support, Kerbal Construction Time, and RSS Visual Enhancements. We're using Tack Light Support because it's compatible with more things, and so it'll give people uh, more of a chance to use the parts they prefer that they are used to in stock if they play modded stock. Uh, there is compatibility, compatibility with other things, but uh, I'm not going to install those for my own playthrough. So I'm going to use CCAN to install things. This is a currently clean install of the game, <laughs> KSP, and we are going to click CCAN and it'll ask to check for updates and all that business. Okay, so we've got CCAN. Now, very important, when installing Realism Overhaul, we need a particular version of Realism Overhaul. Uh, if we take a look here on RP2000, uh, Realism Overhaul 17.4.1 or earlier. Later versions don't allow careers are in RP1. Uh, if you try to start a career and RP1 is not installed in Realism Overhaul, it will prevent you. Now, there was supposed to be a thing that, a toggle that allowed you to use a different career, but I have not gotten that to work. It, according to Nathan Kell, it was to add this little segment here, Realism Overhaul Settings Allow Career Equals True. There is no section in Realism Overhaul itself like this, you just have to add it. And uh, he said to add it somewhere and it'll work, as uh, to get rid of the message that prevents you from adding a new career mode, or using a new career mode instead of RP1. It doesn't work. I have, I, at least for me, uh, maybe I'm implementing it wrong, but it didn't work for me. So uh, we can't use the latest version of Realism Overhaul because it'll prevent us from actually using anything but RP1. So with that being said, when we, we have to be very careful about this, that's why I'm uh, being very specific here. Uh, when we select Realism Overhaul here, we need the specific version, not that one. So not that, we need 17.4.1. That's the latest version we can use. And then that'll install all the requirements automatically. So other than that, of course, we need real solar system. And I'll make sure to create a CCAN file as well as a text file for you to refer to. Those will be in the video description. Uh, but you'll have to keep in mind that we're also going to be installing a few other things, including RP2000 that aren't in CCAN. That's why I'm doing this video. If it was all in CCAN, that'd be easy. But uh, at least one of my mods is on its way to being in CCAN. That's the real, uh, sorry, the small rockets pack. And then I still need to get the others. The reason they're not in CCAN is because I wanted to, they're still being updated fairly frequently. The RP2000 in particular is gonna have so many updates uh, soon that I don't wanna put it on uh, uh, space stock and CCAN just yet. Okay. So beyond that, uh, we will, and technically you could use this career mode without real solar system. It's just probably better if you do. Um, community tech tree. So let's just go through the list that is right here. 
community tech tree, custom barn kit. Now custom barn kit, I haven't really figured out yet. It's supposed to edit the buildings so that they do the right things, I guess. Right now they're not going to do the right things as far as the upgrades are concerned. So that may or may not be a problem. We'll see as I play through. That's one of the things I'm testing. Uh, contract configurator. We probably can't use these contracts. They're not going to be balanced for a uh, real solar system. Procedural parts, but contract configurator is necessary for the tech tree, uh, the contracts that we have in RP2000. Uh, procedural parts. And we do want the extra textures probably. So hazard tank textures. So hazard tank textures. And for main sailor, you just want the first one. The others are sub uh, sections of the complete texture pack. So you don't need those. And then also while we're getting the textures for procedural parts textures, I don't know why black racks is sort of separate here, but it's not black racks, black hearts. Black hearts procedural part textures. Okay, then procedural fairings. Small rockets is not in here yet, though I've it, it's on its way to being in here, but sheer strut engines is in here. Small rockets is available on uh, space dock. Okay, and then recommend tweak scale. Tweak scale doesn't like being installed by CCAN, so we're not going to. I'll put a separate link in the video description. Uh, Tack life support doesn't have any such problems, so we'll install that here. Okay, Kerbal construction time and RSS visual enhancements. Now, RSS visual enhancements in here in CCAN probably, I think, is installing the wrong version of Scatterer and Eve. Uh, judging from my manual install of it, uh, it seemed to require older versions of Scatterer and Eve than is indicated here. These are the newer versions. So, that might be a problem with some of our visuals that you might have seen in my RP1 career. So, okay, we've got all the recommended things and it's compatible with other stuff, but we're not going to install those. So, that's what we can do here in, uh, in CCAN. And it installs all the other requirements associated with those. And we'll say apply. And then that it's got all these recommendations by various things, uh, many by Kerbal Construction Time and Realism Overhaul. Uh, I'm going to make this simple. Uh, we'll keep all of them. I don't know about the RO loading images. I don't care. So I'll uncheck that, but you can leave that checked. Yeah, it's simpler just to install all of these. I'm just going to install those. And then Kerbal Alarm Clock. And test... You can pick between test light and test light. I'll pick test light and toolbar. You could go with RO heat shields if you want. We might decide that later. And ASET props pack I'll put in just in case. Because I might have pods that, well, no, we'll leave it off. Let's just keep the trim. Okay, so these are the things. Re uh, tweak scale redistributable, it's not tweak scale itself, so just keep that in mind. KSP burst is just something it uses. Scatterer sun flare, you can pick your favorite sun flare, but I'll just go with the scatterer one. And then it's installing everything. And uh, Ferrum wants to overwrite stuff, that's fine. That's because I had uh, uh, gotten some craft files from a previous install in here. Okay, it seems to be done. And if we take a look, we have all our stuff nicely arrayed here. So. I'll uh, get tweak scale, and this will be a uh, separate link in the video description. Tweak scale requires KSB recall and tweak scale companion, and so I'll download those as well. So there's KSB recall and tweak scale companion. These will not be separate links, just use these links on the tweak scale page to get them. Okay, so tweak scale has all these folders inside its game data folders, so we're going to grab all those. And we'll replace whatever it needs to replace. Probably the one that I already had was updated, but anyway. KSP recall. There, let's just go with the more recent things. And tweak seal companion. It's got these L ship parts. I don't know what it's all about, but okay. All right. 
So then we have the mods that I made that aren't on uh, CCAN. Small rockets, crew vessels, and RP-2000 itself. Now from CCAN, I'm going to export the uh, mod list as well as the mod pack, the CCAN file. And so I'll link those in the video description for your benefit. But having linked those, don't forget small rockets, crew vessels, and RP-2000. So we're going to do those now. Small rockets adds the real-life rockets from the space startups. And it has an EDB mods folder. You should already have an EDB mods folder in RP-2000, and that's because that was installed from the Shearstrut engine pack that was in CCAM. So that should already be there. And you will replace the license file. Crew Vessels is at 0.2 right now. That's the version. And it also will be an ED mods folder. And you'll replace the license. And inside parts, it'll have each of these. And then finally, last but not least, of course, RP2000. And the one on GitHub is RP2000 0.1.0. 0.1.1 had the little career mode toggle, but since that doesn't work, there's no point. Uh, so I didn't upload that. And so inside the game data folder in RP2000, there's a variety of folders. So game data, Kerbal Construction Time will have the RP0 settings for Kerbal Construction Time, which will make sure that the time is suited to uh, realism overhaul things. The realism overhaul folder has a patch to the ro underscore engines dot config that allows it to work with KSB Interstellar, which relies on the tweak scaling of engines. Ro tries to prohibit the tweak scaling of engines, so that's that. Real solar system will set the planet locations to January first, two thousand. RP two thousand contains the contracts as well as the tech tree parts, uh, part placements. And then trigger tech is for Kerbal Alarm Clock to make sure Kerbal Alarm Clock knows that it should start in on January 1st, year 2000. So we are going to overwrite everything that asks to be overwritten here. So replace just two things. And then we're done. So now hopefully RP2000 will work. Let's fire it up. Okay, I don't care about this cache. With this selection of mods, your RAM usage and whether you can run it will depend primarily on the RSS texture pack that you selected. The textures will try to go into your video card memory or VRAM, and then if they can't, then they'll go into the regular RAM. Altogether, if you use the highest quality uh, textures, then you're probably looking at about 16 gigabytes altogether, VRAM plus regular RAM. In terms of regular RAM right now, uh, I'm using about seven gigabytes. But again, a lot of my video RAM is being used. So we're gonna start new, RP2000. Uh, I did sneak my flag in and it is a career mode and hopefully it'll let me make a career mode. I'll just uh, default to hard and then do custom things. Uh, hmm. I wanted to try real antennae. I think I'm, it might have been one of the recommended mods from real solar system. Uh, sorry, realism overhaul. Yes, real antennas is recommended by realism overhaul, and I did install it to test it. I think maybe you should not install it, depending on how my experience goes with this. So. Uh, it might be okay, it might not be okay. Uh, in my playthrough, we'll find out. So just in case, uh, you can use the stock comms and we, we can see how that works out. But they sh the distances should be modified for the stock comms, so don't worry about that too much. We'll, we'll, we'll work on this. This is all a work in progress. Um, uh, allow reverting, quick loading. Uh, well... For my test purposes, no, well, I'll, I'll take the risk. Uh, and advanced, we'll have all that business, that business. Uh, Kerbals can uh, level up immediately. We'll have action groups. Well, I don't like that one. Okay, ground stations I like. And I don't know about the rest of the settings, especially not in real antennae. Uh, for that, we'll just have all the parts. I don't know if there is any real limitation there. 
Uh, but we do have test light, that's fine. Pre-launch ignition failures enabled. Well, we'll see how that works out for us. In contract configurator, we do have the RP2000 contract group. And these are the stock contracts we have. I don't know to what extent they'll actually work, but we will see. Okay, accept, start. And now it, it, at that point, if you click start on any of the more recent versions of Realism Overhaul, it won't let you. It'll come up with a pop-up and say, no, you need RP1. So that's why we're not using the more recent versions. So I'm thankful that that just worked. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with follow mouse. Okay, hide that window. And then with Kerbal Construction Time, this is the old version of Kerbal Construction Time, not with the RP1. And we'll choose a preset, and it's going to be RP2000. So uh, yeah, uh, I guess we'll just go with custom. It says RP2000 here. Uh-oh. Mm. Okay, yeah, let's click the RP2000. I don't know why it had something else there. Okay. And then spent upgrade points. So for those who played RP1 a long time ago, uh, this is a thing that you do, but I think I'll pick up at this point in the actual playthrough videos instead of doing this right now. So the tech tree, just if you're wondering how this looks, it's just the stock tech tree. It's got basic rocketry, engineering, stability, and all this stuff here, and then it gets into the more speculative stuff for the more interesting mods like Near Future and KSB Interstellar. And Near Future, if you use it, should have the parts placed in the right location. The pricing is the question. And otherwise, a lot of the realistic parts we placed according to their manufacturer, because you're playing a space startup, uh, we, we're pretending that you're going to have to deal, do a deal with the original manufacturers by giving them some research and then paying for their parts. If you develop your own parts in the main body of the tech tree, then it'll be cheaper. But if you do want to use legacy parts, let's say you install FASA or you install some mod that has old parts. These are the stock parts, of course, because we didn't have additional part mods uh, introducing those, so Raider Nix mods or something like that. But if you want to, you can still use those legacy parts by giving some research to one of these companies, like NPO Energy. I simplified the companies somewhat, um, uh, just to have not too many of them here, but Lockheed, General Dynamics, etc. Uh, if they happen to have the parts that are appropriate to their segment, Norfolk Grumman has, of course, a lot of SRBs now. Uh, you can give them the science and then pay for their parts and then use them. But the idea is that you should be developing your own. That's the Shear Strut engine pack. And so you'll have plenty of engines. You can see it's a Shear Strut engine pack. And then these are also from the small rockets pack, like Astros Rocket 3 and stuff like that, because you can play them. Uh, and so you'll have lots, hopefully lots of choices here. And of course, we have procedural parts and procedural fairings, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But if you want Rocket 1's fairing, it's there. Um, and yeah, we've got various engines all the way. Uh, though not that far. We probably want some stuff higher than heavy rocketry. That's This is basically where the Shear Strut engine pack goes and the small rockets pack. So up here, other mods need to exist. But at least we'll be able to start our playthrough. And, you know, uh, this these engines are not small. They're still reasonably sized. So, yeah. That's the idea. That's the layout of the tech tree and how it works. And I will start a career mode with it to test it out uh, soon. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this installation of RP2000 and found it helpful. And hopefully you'll try it out. See, January 1st, 2000. And with that date, RSS date time would have to change that. But that's all right. We have Kerbal on clock. So yes, we will see. We will see whether it works or not, and hopefully I can modify the contracts. Oh, let's go in and see the contracts just to make sure. We do have some contracts available. Suborbital space flight, crude, send a payload into space or your first satellite. So that's how we start out. Uh, because I selected hard, the penalties are a little bit harsh, uh, like that failure, but you don't have to have that. That's of course tweakable in the difficulty menu. All right. 
So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.